Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Trevelyan. What a surprise. My report said you were terribly boring. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Uh, hello. They said I'm terribly boring. Bull, did you hear that? The report said that I'm terribly boring. How could the person who closed the breach be terribly boring? All right, well, I mean, if that's what your reports say. You have a really fancy title. Ambassador, is it? Whose ambassador are you exactly? If the nobility is going to treat elves as if we are not citizens, we may as well have the trappings of a foreign power. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. What a shame. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's Emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? And what if it was? What if it was? What are you going to do about it? If I did kill him, what would you do? <laughs> well, I wouldn't believe you, for one. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Huh. Well, he didn't seem desperate, though. I mean, he's a little full of himself, granted, and he definitely needs to clean up his act a bit, but he didn't seem that desperate. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. And at what cost, though? You paint a very, very pretty picture, but there's a cost for everything, and what is your cost? What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Every single major player has tried to bribe you tonight. In Orlay, that means you've officially arrived. Is that what it means? There's so much conniving and backstabbing here. Makes me homesick. Well, I'm sure I can find you even more, Dorian. Before we, uh, before we go. Don't worry. Has everybody really tried to bribe me so far? Yes. Uh, the Mad Emperor. All right, taking this for Skyhold. I unfortunately don't have time to stop and read. We must keep it going. Okay, so where am I? Okay, this is where we ended up. So, staircase out. Lovely. Let's go. Before we're missed. I gotta throw that dress back on. Can I just go to the rest of the ball like this? Do you think anybody would really mind if I just stayed dressed the way that I am? Uh, Orlesian Theater. Yeah, no, I'll bring that to Liliana. I have no interest in Orlesian Theater. I don't think Colin does either, bless him. That's why we work so well. Wait, this way. I get lost so easily. I think it's this way. Yes? I think so? Looks- Aha! People! Hello, people! Hi, I'm gonna go this way. Is everything- Wait, is everything okay? We'll hold the area. Good! Excellent! Make sure you find any extra Tevinter spies and murder them. Give them my regards! Hmm. How much- all right, we're back. I need to get back to the ballroom. Ooh, anybody? Just checking out my shoes. Did you see that knife-eared servant girl in the kitchen? The ginger. Keep talking. I am starting to believe I was there. I need to get one of those. Don't we all? Okay. Um, I should make a note that that bit of information I picked up to have Liliana have that person stabbed. It's fine. All right. Back into the ballroom. Um, this should be awesome. Inquisitor Travellian. Yes? We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Uh, you have some very interesting timing. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? 
This is Orlais, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Well then, let's dance. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? Um... Why don't you educate me on your little war so I know how much I should know? What do you think I ought to know? My brother and my dear cousin have been at each other's throats for too long. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Is that really what we both want? Or something else? I hope I'm playing the game right right now. Oh, okay. Yes. Is that... I, I'm... Yeah, you know, is that what we both want? Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these... It's hard to tell friend from foe, is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. And, uh, which might I be to you? Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? I mean... <laughs> who do you trust? More importantly, Florian, who, who do you deem trustworthy? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I mean, isn't everyone? That's like the national pastime of Orlais, so I've been told. Dangerous machinations is what you all eat for breakfast. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. Uh, only if I get to dance with Cullen. I mean, what? Um, just no dances with Corypheus. That, that's really the only thing. Then I ask also that all of my dances remain for Cullen from here on out. That's impossible in the Inquisitor, but you know what I mean. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? Yep. More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Um, there's a lot of things going on. Do you want to start with the bad news or the slightly worse news or just the awful news? There's a lot. Uh, I found Venatory agents. I have a few different leads. Gaspard is potentially a traitor. I don't like Briala at all. She, she definitely just, I don't know. There's something about her that I just can't. And Florian is up to something. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I'm sorry, what? We came here to save her. It was all Riley. Put on a dress, go to a ball, hang out with a bunch of nobles, do this, do that, change your hair. 
he, here, here's how to play the game. Do you remember the weeks we spent me trying to learn how to play the game so I wouldn't screw everything up? And now you want me to let her die? Oh, come on. No, we can't do that. I just, can we? What? You have an idea, Leliana. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. Okay. Uh, what really is the best path? I don't know. I have enough to handle with the Inquisition, and we said from the beginning we weren't going to be making these big, life-altering decisions. Right? For everybody else? I'll make the life-altering decisions for myself. And that's about it. Like, yes, we have to defeat Crypheus and all that other stuff, and those are life-altering decisions. But this, this is an entire country in my hands. That's not what I signed up for. Defeat Crypheus. Then I step down as Inquisitor, not defeat Crypheus and choose the ruling power of Orlai. That was never, that was never an agreement. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlai. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlai to this point. I say Gaspard provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. Why is it my decision? I don't want to make this decision. Colin, can't you just agree with one of the two of them and then I can easily just say, well, that's what every... No, that's not... I know. I know, Colin. I know. That's not the way this works. All right, I'm going to take what all of you said under advisement, and I need more information. I'm going to go and, you know, check in on that lead from uh, Florian and see what I can find, and then we'll go from there. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. Okay. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. Agreed. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. I will. Okay. Again, why am I always put in this position? <sighs> All right. Back outside the ballroom, I guess. And then, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to find some more. Oh, did I pick up any gossip? I need to draw. I, Lily, I have stuff for Liliana. I do. It's true. The Dowager, did you want to chat? Lady Inquisitor. Yes. Hello. Would you care to dance? Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well-versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? I'd be delighted to. I would be delighted to. How are you enjoying the ball this evening? I'd like your opinion of this gathering, milady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Selene knows that. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you seen anything interesting? Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A oh, shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Yeah, aren't they, though? Have a, have a good evening. Good evening, milady. All right, interesting. Liliana, I've got more You're gossip. Yeah. So many crimes of fashion. I know. I know. Trust me, I have more information for you. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. The things courtiers get up to. You're welcome. All right, what's over? Is there anything? 
Oh, Riola. Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've Slumming. charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I don't want to slum it with the nobles. <laughs> that's slumming it. I don't want to charm them or anything. I don't like them, but that's besides the point. I am. Can I ask you a question about the talks? I want to know more about the peace talks. What are your goals for all of this? What are you hoping to gain from tonight's negotiations? A voice. Simple enough, isn't it? My people have none. We've lived for centuries amid the lowest ranks of society. No one hears us. No one sees us. If the elves of Halam Shiral were elevated, if we had an elven noble at court, we'd have recognition. A voice. Interesting. And you want to be that noble? I assume the role of elevated noble will fall to you, Milady Briala. Let's be honest, Inquisitor. The sole elven noble in the court isn't going to have a position of power and luxury. But that's the future. We need to focus on the task at hand. And what if the Empress is killed? If Selene were killed, what would happen to your plans? Assuming I'm not the one blamed? Assuming that. It would be precarious. I've been working on Gaspard, but he's like a charging bull. It would be easier to rein him in if I had something that could hurt him. Interesting. All right, well, we'll talk later. Thank you for chatting. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not telling her about that locket that I have. I'm telling nobody about that. Oh, Celine, hello. Oh, sorry, Empress. Yes, hello. Yeah, I'm not telling anybody about that. That is a bad idea. Yes, Bard, are you... Is that really all... Have you been drinking that? Please tell me this isn't all from you. My friend... Come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. Not really charming them, no, but I mean, I've been floating around. It's true. Can I ask you a question? Let's talk politics. I have a question about the peace talks. Can you tell me about your politics? What are you hoping to achieve at the negotiations? I intend to take back what is rightfully mine. Celine stole the crown through politicking, but I am the rightful emperor of Orle. The empire has been mired in intrigue for too long. We need a clear course of action. Do you even want to be emperor though, or is it because Celine took your toy? Like, I'm still confused whether or not you want to be emperor for the right reasons, or if it's because simply your toy was taken away from you, and now you want it back. I mean, but you're here for- and what course of action are you talking about, though? What action did you have in mind? The Empire is declining. We cannot allow Nevara and Ferelden to chip away our borders. I will see Orle return to glory as the strongest nation in Thedas. And what, you just want to fight more wars? Is that what you want? You intend to return to expansionism. I like to solve problems in the simplest manner, my friend. The simplest manner? Really? And if Selene dies, what happens? If something were to happen to the Empress, how would that change your plans? Selene has not declared an heir. If the Maker called her home, the crown would fall to me. But the Council of Heralds would try to implicate me in any misfortune. If they succeeded, the crown could pass to my sister or one of our more distant cousins. Interesting. And how are the talks going overall? How have the negotiations been so far? The port won't last the evening, I'm afraid. We will end the night with nothing settled. Which should surprise nobody, but it will disappoint my sister. I don't know why she had such high hopes for this ball. Florian always was hopelessly optimistic. Interesting. Well, thank you for chatting, Gaspard. I'll talk to you later. We'll speak later, Duke Gaspard. Another time, friend. Mm-hmm. I need... Wasn't there an empty balcony? I just need to think. Actually, is there nobody out here? Empress, do you mind if I borrow this? Thank you. 
Okay. Just the guards. Hopefully they don't hear me. I'm not telling anybody about anything that I found evidence-wise. That would be a mistake. That's a... Odd. Why is there a crow? I don't know why I'm fascinated by that, but every time I see a crow there, I think of Liliana. Are you here for Liliana? Do you want me to tell her that she's needed, or are you just actually a real crow? Or are you a, you know, spy crow kind of thing? I don't even know. What are you even saying at this point, Riley? All right. You need to get out the door. But we're not telling anybody anything about what you found. That's for certain. Can't do it. Because then they could start plotting and scheming before you make up your mind. And that's just what they like to do. Plotting and scheming, isn't it? Gentlemen, how are we? Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? I am. We heard stories of your accomplishments. Oh, the stories I could tell you. There are so many of them. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. Why, thank you, but you know who you should really go talk to is Cullen. He has so many stories, even more than I do. He was a survivor of the Blight. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. Oh, you should. No, go. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. Exactly. Right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. That was easy. I shouldn't be able to convince them to leave their post that easily, huh? All right. What am I going to find in here? Ah, an office and a statue. I'm just collecting these like I collect mosaic tiles. I'll have to start displaying them just like that. And there's a lot of heads here. And what is... Move in on the western wing of the palace when I send you three shots of brandy, not taking any chances. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, that's an odd head. What is that? Unknown monstrous beast taken in a hunt in Cyril by Duke Emmerich, 927 Dragon. Fascinating. All right, well, we've done a little bit of that. Is there anything left? I don't think so. I feel like I've said hello to all the people. Oh, this pretty statue. Waste of time. Why does nobody have any good gossip over yes, here? We've been, I've been here. Oh. That's another door I haven't opened. Okay. Uh, yes. Just gonna see what's down there. I'll take those back on the way up. What is in here? This is a very pretty room. Okay. And what is down these stairs? Anything? Oh. Uh, another. Master Tetris. Oh. I Varric. found some factual inconsistencies in your last book, and I've prepared some notes on the subject. Varric, what are you doing down here behind a secret locked door? Having fun, boss? I always enjoy canapes while surrounded by people who want to kill me. Oh, you too, huh? Same. I've been enjoying the canapes, yes. Actually, no. They don't allow me to eat anything, Varric. Josephine said I couldn't. So, I'm hungry. Can you save me a few of those canapes for the way home? How's the party treating you? Having fun, Varric. My brother used to throw galas like this in Kirkwall. I always tried to avoid them. I'm not much of a dancer these days. Well, if you want to dance, Cullen doesn't want to, so... You know, if you ever get the urge, hop on the dance floor. Wave. I got all this dressed up. Might as well at least dance with somebody that isn't Florian at some point. You have a fan club, though. That's kind of awkward. I didn't realize you were famous. You have plenty of admirers. I didn't know my book sold so well in Orlay. I'm going to have a chat with my publisher. Let me know if you need the way to the Inquisition for that one, Varric. You have it if you need it. Uh, have you heard anything that I should know? What's happening? Anything I should know about? Well, to be honest, I haven't seen much. But you wouldn't expect anything to happen out in the open. This is Orlay, Everyone though. Everyone is on edge. 
And it's not just that they're worried about the war. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Oh, actually, uh, get your stuff because we have another place to go in just a minute. We can chat later. Just wait for the signal. Just give the word. We're ready to move. Okay, good. Same. Also. Oh, uh, just t checking that. Why do you have the impulsive need to legs at tea time. take that? Because Why is it so hazy in here? Guess. Hello. How are we all but doing? If I take the fox across with a second ring. No, that won't work. Good luck. Stick with it. You'll figure it out. Mm -hmm.